In this video, we are going to continue with similar figures. You will find this on page 351 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at example 4. In the diagram, BA is parallel to PQ. AB is 3, AO is 4, OP is 5, and OQ is 7 cm. Show that triangle A. PO is similar to triangle PQO. Now, this is very important. To show that these two triangles are similar, prove two angles are equal, then the third angle will automatically also be equal. So you only have to prove two angles and use normal geometry. So in this case, it's parallel lines. It's vertical's opposite angles. So start there. Angle AOB Let's just see, A, O, B, that angle, is equal to angle P, O, Q. Okay, because they are vertical opposite angles. Then angle B, A, O, B, A, O, is equal to Q, P, O, Q, P, O. Do you see a Z? That's alternate angles. The lines are parallel. So alternate angles, parallel lines. So therefore, this triangle will be equal. Make sure that the order you write the capital letters is correct. So in this case, I can now write down my ratios. So it's the first two over the first two. So it's A, B over P, Q. The last two over the last two. B O over Q O, the first and last, A O over P O. P O. Okay, and then I say, so this is my other rays are, are equal. So show that triangles is similar to this. So now I look, what do I have? Um, I have A B, okay, that's three. I have um, P Q, yes, that's five. Do I have BO? No. Do I have QO? QO, yes. That's 7. And I'm looking for BO. So you can write this down, okay? Um, so in this case, BO over 7 is equal to 4 over 5. Let's just see. Um, AB, okay. It's AO, AO over PQ. PO over PO. Okay, so it's this two. So I'm just going to say, let me see, do I have AB? I just control AB and then it was PQ. I don't have PQ. That was the mistake. I don't have, oh, um, let's just make it smaller. So, but do I have AO? Let's just see. AO, yes, and that's four. Do I have PO? Yes, and that's 5. And that's how I write it. Cross multiply, and you get this. Do exactly the same. Now, just work with this one, with the um, AB and the PQ. Again, if you put this on top, or you must put the other triangle on top. So you can swap, but then if you swap that one, swap that one, and swap that one. Okay, and then you do the same. Okay, you can stop the video. I'm just going to move up a little bit. And you can do try now for. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. So in the diagram, BD is parallel to AC, and then they give you the different dimensions. Show the triangle is similar to that. So let's start. Let's say, um, no, I'm just going to use a color. Do you see that that lines are parallel? So this is the F, so this is corresponding angles. So I can start by saying <clears throat> angle XPD is equal, so XPD is equal to angle XAC. And it's going to be corresponding angles. Okay, and then the same on this side. There's my F again, so it's angle 
x db x db so x db is equal to angle x ci and it will again be corresponding angles okay so therefore triangle xpd x pd is similar to triangle xic x i c okay so if i'm going to start with this one okay again my ratio so it's x b over x a equals b d over a c equals x d over x c okay now i'm just going to check what do i have so if i check here uh, just remember that this one will be 3 plus, plus 2 and that will be 5 so i have xb yes that's 3 xa that's the 5 uh, then um, find pd okay so that was just the proof so this was a and now i'm going to go to b okay so then bd where is bd this is the one i want do i have ic yes i have ic and that's 10. so it's going to be xp over xa equals bd over ic so this is 3 over 5 equals bd over ic that's 10 cross multiply so it's 5 bd equals 30 divide 5 divide 5 so therefore bd is equal to 6 centimeter okay <clears throat> let's move on okay so in this example triangle this are similar with pc parallel okay use the ratios to similar so they tell you it's similar now if they tell you i just want to show you here so remember if they say so it's a b again i'm just going to write it here so a b over a d equals b c over d e equals a c over a e okay so what do i have i have ac okay don't forget you have ae also because ae this one this one will be 5 plus 2x <clears throat> so let's see what do i have i have ab no do i have id no do i have bc i think we're going to work with this okay and that's what i wrote there then i do substitution then i cross multiply then I just use my algebra knowledge and I just simplify and there is my quadratic equation, the one day. They can ask me to solve it, uh, then I will use either factorizing, completing the square or the formula, but in this case they wanted me to stop. Okay, I want you to stop the video <coughs> and I want you to do try now 5. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Okay. In the diagram, MN and PQ are parallel and this meets at O. Show that triangle are similar. Okay, now let's start. Now we're just going to say, okay, we can again <coughs> use this is vertical opposite angles. So we can say, say angle MON is equal <coughs> to angle 
P O Q P O Q that too P O Q okay and that will be vertical let's just write it correct vertical opposite angles Okay, so show that um, the triangle are similar, so but okay, then we can go and say any one, because that is parallel, so that one and that one. So we can say angle N, M, O, is equal to angle um, P, Q, O, and that will be alternate angles. Okay, uh, so they are similar. So then, um, so that, okay, then I continue. Then I say, okay, this is number O. So therefore, triangle, you just have to prove two angles. The first one then automatically will be also equal. Then, so just end with therefore, triangle M, N, O is similar to triangle Q, P, O. Okay. And then I can continue with number B. Okay, now they give you this. Now first, always, <clears throat> first two, first two. So I'm going to say M N over Q P equals N O over P O equals M O over Q P. Oh. Okay, now I'm going to fill it in. What do I have? I have OM. OM, where is OM? Okay, I can just look on my sketch, then it's going to be easy. Um, I have MO. MO. I have <coughs> OQ. I have NO. <coughs> and I have um, OP. That four. So let's start with that four. So I'm going to say, I'm going to use NO over PO is equal to MO over QO. And if I fill it in, um, this is going to be four over PO, Y plus one is MO, let's just see, MO, 5 over QO, 2Y minus 2, 2Y minus 2. Okay, and now I'm just going to so explain why. Now remember, so therefore, if I swap this one, it's fine as long as I swap this one. So therefore, so we can just write it exactly as they were writing it. 2Y minus 2 over 5 equals Y plus 1 over 4. Okay, so and then they say solve the equation. So if I solve it and now I'm just going to clean it and just move up because otherwise the pen is going to struggle. Okay. <clears throat> so in this case it's going to be 2y minus 2 over 5 equals y plus 1 over 4. And then I cross multiply, so it's 5y plus 1 equals 4, 2y minus 2. And then I multiply, so it's 5y plus 5 equals 8y minus 8. So if I simplify this, I'm just going to simplify this. So it's 5y minus 8y is equal negative 8, negative 5. So it's negative 3y equals negative 13. And if I divide negative 3, I divide negative 3. So therefore, the value of y is equal to 13 over 3. I can just leave it like that. Okay. Or I can write, uh, it's going to be 4 and a third.
doesn't matter. And it's going to be uh, solve the equation. So that's find the length of NP. So let's just find the length of NP. This is my final one. So NP, where is in NP? Now just take notice <coughs> that NP will be 4 plus y plus 1. It's that whole one there. Okay, so this is going to be 4 plus, in the place of y, um, 4 plus y, what is y now? It's that 4 and a third plus 1. And that will give me 8, that will give me 9 and a third. Okay. Okay. And that will be my final answer. Easy.